Hi guys, once again we're in here and um, today we're going to do a long one. We're going to be trying out some video games on PS3 controller, DS tablet. <clears throat> so let me start with the DS. This, as you probably already knew, has a bunch of games, and um, we're gonna do asphalt. Remember how cool this thing is? I love my DS. I loved my DS. Let's see. Let's focus. Jumping right into the, the mix. Three, two, one, go! This is the first time I actually ever used a bike. Uh, no drifting. This is asphalt four, by the way. Actually not bad. Uh, I should have had a DS to compare really. This is one generation behind. Gotta go, dog. Uh, so that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Not bad. Let's bring in the big boy. My right, Samsung Galaxy Tab 7.0 Plus. That's a screen that's 7 inches. You do start 6 axis controller. And it was a little vibration confirmation. Um, I made the stands myself. Yeah. When you have a lot of free time on your hands, you, you tend to do stuff with it. But here we go. So, what's the key? There we go. So now we're taking control of. Uh, ICS with um, the controller and um, let's do Asphalt 7 and let's rotate it upside down. Let's take out the power for meanwhile. Well, I just why are you being such a douchebag? Asphalt 7 is a good game. But uh, it really pissed me off. Really, really pissed me off. It looks wonderful on. It looks wonderful on every other platform except this um, device. So this is it. No, that's not rotate. Really this one. You press this, and it confirms it. There we go. Back. Still gotta touch the screen. No tutorials. 
Uh, let's jump straight to number four. God damn it, stop being a, intolerable. Um, Hawaii. Hawaii is a good track, so let's do that. PTSV uh, Coop. Those things are so sick. When you see it passing by in real life, you just gotta like stand there and pay homage to it. I'll turn up the background. Alright, so the controls are a little bit messed up. Um, but I, sh I can do left and right. I can do left and right on this thing. And let's break and. Oops. I know one of these will exit the game. It's not really mapped well. So, let's camera. Oh, there we go. Square. You are square. So the graphics, you can see the. Uh, texture filtering is way off. I already I made a rant video about this already. Um, uh, uh, texture filtering is really way off. Draw distance is very short. Um, you don't get some of the advanced shaders that some of the the Power VR um, systems get, like the iPad and so forth. You don't get. Um, you get the specular highlights and uh, and high poly models and uh, the high quality textures that the Power VR systems get. This is probably optimized only for Power VR because this looks like um, the 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 PS Vita version on the iPad. It looks like um, like a freaking early Android game on my Galaxy Tab. You probably can't see it. The highlights are blown. Adjusting the screen just a little bit so, yeah, so some of the highlights don't get too blown out. God damn it, I should turn off notifications. These things pop up so much. The only thing I, I like about the notifications though is that they, they have that whistle sound, so I always know what's up. I wonder what came first, burnout or asphalt? Gotcha, bitch. Is that a 40? It's impressive uh, how Gameloft got to uh, license so many cars. A lot of games, game devs just can't afford that. And then sell the game for a, a buck ninety nine or ninety nine cents. You get the point. All right, so let's quit this thing. This is get right out of there. So another game I'm going to show you. Um, it's dead trigger. You've probably already seen this. If you haven't, you're missing out on a whole lot. A whole lot, because you know what? It's free. You shouldn't be missing out on it. Um, so, let's do something simple. And this does take advantage of the 
PS3 controller. Via six axis, so let's see something easy because when this game is hard, it's hard. And when a game is hard, it's hard. It's something new. This thing is really good, but I'd still prefer the Xbox controller. Get you back here. I'm supposed to defend my position. KSG level two, no level one. Um, that's producing 480 at damage points. Um, this one is 450. So they're not too bad. Don't even do it. I don't like crawlers. Did you guys watch The Walking Dead? I'm getting to like Shane. I mean, not Shane, Rick. He's beginning, he's finally wisening up. It's, sad, it's so sad too. Well, it's not really sad. He asked for it, really. That guy who was um, the prisoner, the um, the one with the tattoos and shit, and the long hair. I don't remember his name. I don't think it was ever brought up. But, um. Ooh. Damn. Uh, auto aim. Really, if I just do that, if I just spam that, I'll win basically. Oh crap. Last round. This one is a little bit more powerful, but it shoots faster. It shoots a lot faster. So when the, the, the heavy duty guys come around, I just like empty the whole clip on them. So let me save that. The, that's powerful, but it doesn't blow blow them up like um, like this one. This blows them up. They need to upgrade it. Oh, there we go. Now look at my technique. Circle strafe. <laughs> they still haven't figured out how to <laughs> stop us from doing that. From quick till now. Bitch, please. So bad. Oh my god, <laughs> adjusting the camera in between this thing, that was a little bit intense. So yeah, there's a bit of glare. I have a lot of sunlight coming in, so it's going to be a little bit glary. Glary, is that a word? There's going to be a bit of glare on the screen. Oops. Quick time event. I love them. Oh shit. Full auto. That was actually not a bad game. Xbox. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember that one. It's a fun game. Well, the camera's an EPL one with a Panasonic 14 millimeter lens. If you're wondering, maybe I doubt you'd be wondering, but whatever. So that's dead trigger. Let me show you stuff I've got. I'm not using any automatics, as a matter of fact. I should. Uh, level two uh, first, the Remington. Um, I can level it up soon, I believe. Um, the KSG 480, really powerful. Uh, Striker is much faster and has a bigger clip. All right. Um, Let's go on to something else. 
This one's a new one I just uh, purchased via the Google Play Store for 99 cents. It's Shine Runner. It's one of those Tegra optimized games. I really hate it. I really hate it. You don't know how much I hate it. Um, left, right, select, start. Okay. Camera tilts. Yeah, why not? It's, it's an auto, auto for auto gas, so I don't have to worry about a thing. All right, so let's do this. Ooh. So right, as you, you probably can't tell, because this is YouTube and it's only 30 frames per second. But this thing for me is running at about 60 frames per second. Looks amazing, quite frankly. Give me that money. Ooh. There's no braking though. So you can't make tight turns without Scandinavian flicking it. Oh, get out of my way, crocodile. Yeah, it's definitely a crocodile. Alligators are salt water, aren't they? Or am I having it back backwards? Give me that money. I wonder if money resets my time. Nothing really resets the time, does it? Whoa. I wish they would stop doing the Tegra only games, because there's so many games out there that are pretty good, but they only run on Tegra. I don't have a Tegra device. I don't want a Tegra device. These you guys are just being assholes. Um, guns and jugs. So let's do that. Uh, okay. Go! <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Get out of my way, crocodiles. I don't usually be able to this, I'm sorry. But man, the graphics are pretty impressive if you ask me. Uh, except, I can see a few faults. There are no specular highlights on anything in the world, so everything is pretty much flat and dry, even though it's such a wet environment. And uh, the models look very low poly. Um, they don't look very high quality. But every <laughs> but the water looks good. Oh yeah, the water looks good. The play is good though. There's no controls for the menus, only for the gameplay, uh, which I can live with. I'll show you guys some mapping uh, later on in the video. Alright, so let's do this thing. I'll show you a later uh, a game I just got as well. It's pretty fun. It was also Tegra optimized, but they, they released a non-Tegra version. At least I believe it was Tegra optimized, I'm not sure. It was uh, the uh, previous games that the, the company made were in the Tegra zone. I just don't get it, man. Tegra's I just pisses me off. I want to play the games. I want to buy them. Why limit them to only Tegra? That is that's not gonna make me want to buy a Nexus Seven or something because it has a, a Tegra only game. I'm gonna buy what I want to buy, and you should probably support it. That's how you're gonna make money. You don't make money off hardware sales. And um, that entire. Um, that was actually geared towards the de developers. I don't know, man. I just don't get it. I'm paying for this stuff. Why not just, like, you know, make it work on my freaking tablet? And I doubt it's very hard to do. Because, um. Uh, look at Dead Trigger. It uh, uses the uh, Unity 3D engine. Uh, the Tegra 3 features that they were touting, like the uh, ragdoll physics and uh, real-time lighting and um, 
and some uh, more particle effects and so forth. They run just fine on my tablet. There was a hack um, that showed you how to um, to enable them. They run just fine. So I don't know why they market it like that. It's just trying to piss me off, really. And I've also played um, what's it called? Um, Arma 2 Gun Range, Firing Range. That's a Tegra, uh, THD only game, so it doesn't really work on other uh, platforms. And it runs just fine on my tablet as well, so it's all marketing hype. You know how much it really pisses me off. This is what Nvidia always does. The, um, I don't know if any of you guys remember the way it's meant to be played program where they would make games shitty for ATI users so they could sell more graphics cards and I guess it's a company's prerogative to make their, uh, their product more competitive but when you mess with the whole industry it just this leaves a bad taste in people's mouths now maybe not a lot of people really notice this because there's still plenty of games that aren't Tegra HD only but this, it just really pisses me off. All the good, like, some of the really good quality games are Tiger HD. Um, there's Horn that just got released. I still can't play it because it's uh, THD only. And it might not get a, a standard release until maybe later on, maybe next year. So, uh, and Zen Pinball is another one, and some other games. Uh, Dark Meadows, and whatever. So that's enough of that. Something else. This is Granny Smith. It's actually... I don't know. I've played one level so far. It seems a bit simplistic. I don't want to see the replay. Let's do that again. The sound on the Galaxy Tab is actually pretty good. Pretty good stereo. Ow. Oh. Oh. Uh, she's one tough granny. Bastard, you little fat bastard. <laughs> Look who's talking. Gotcha. Alright. I seem to gotta jump over stuff. And I gotta. Yeah, like. The longer you hold it, the more she, she rotates. hang of it pattern recognition that's why we're so good at stuff all right so that's enough of that uh, that was pretty good um, so let's do CS portable it's critical strike um, let me bring up the control mapping oh shit no! No, 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 that's not good. Oh god, I must have deleted my, my control mapping. Uh, let's go to single player classic and I'll show you guys how to do the mapping. Um, I hate the Matrix, let's do Ice World. I love the Matrix movie. <laughs> But the Matrix map sucks, so we're gonna play as Tarot East. Alright, so you, no, you, you, no, you, you, there we go. Uh, we're gonna take a screenshot. 
Man, get out of the notification area already. Go to six axis. I'm gonna create a new mapping. So okay, we're gonna do touch emulation, edit touch profile, change background. And there we go. There we go. Alright. Very simple stuff. Add a button. Add analog left. It's there. Add a button. Analog right. To here. And we're going to do a simple profile. So, uh, jump. Uh, you'll be cross. And it's you. Fire. It's going to be R2. Switching weapons is going to be... Well, let's do a reload, which is always oh, triangle. There you go. Um, uh, uh, L1. Uh, we're gonna do, yeah. Get the knife out with L1. Oh, let's do a switcher with L1. Yeah. And then grenades are L2. Um, what else do we need? Nothing else really. I'll save and apply profile. CS portable. CS portable. Potato. Potato. Yeah, whatever. Fuck it. Um, back. Okay. Back. Back. Alright. So I'll see if it works. Nope. Oh, this is bad. That's bad. That's bad. Yeah, let's switch the input method to six axis. There we go. Alright, so that's fixable. Reload. Oh, switches. I uh, have no grenades. Jump. Jump. Alright. That's an easy fix. So let's get back to. Six axis. I can get your preferences. Bam, bam, bam. Load profile. Yeah. Right. We have button properties, and we turn it to relative touch. That solves that. And then we can mess with sensitivity. Um, what else? Oh, crouching. We can do with um, circle. Just go to save profile. Yeah. Task switcher. And then I'm playing. Reload doesn't work. Oh, I have no ammo. Alright. I got a. I see. Let's go to weapon shop. Let's get a an AK-47. And uh, let's just let loose. Reload. Reload does work. Jumping and crouching. So you know what's gonna be. Fun if we just add a couple of butts. We're amateurs, so let's add some counter terrorists and make this game fun. Um, I'm running 60 frames, it's dipping a bit. Um, they just released a patch, so it's a little bit more optimized. Um, it does have a bit of auto aim um, because it's uh, this version is a tablet version, but. Uh, um, but there's a browser version, which is actually pretty fun to play, but it has some bugs. 
Nope. So that's CS Portable. And you know what's the best thing about this game? Uh, which can be a bad thing. It does have online multiplayer. So let's get find servers in the US. Uh, refresh. Let's do zombie because anything else will uh, be too embarrassing. Uh, let's see if this works. Um, I think the games are being hosted on Android devices. I might be wrong. Well, wouldn't that be crazy? Alright, so the frame rate does dip a bit. I got kicked. Shit. I didn't know what happened there. Uh, oh, this means let's get, get on a smaller server. Because there's people, less lag. Hopefully, I don't get kicked again. Maybe it's the versioning, because they've been updating, they've been revving pretty often. Um, 12 warnings, 500 errors. Oh, error failed to connect the server. I you know it was working perfectly the last time I tried it. Let's go on a small, even smaller server. And let's see what happens. Alright, so. Here we go, we're connected. Humans. Oops, let's do that. Oh, I should have bought something. Headshots don't really help. And I have no. Oh shit, I have no ammo. Fuck your face. Alright, I'm gonna have to become one of you. Really? Took you that long? <laughs> terrorists. Yeah, zombies are terrorists, aren't they? Uh, weapon shop. Let's get. Let's get a shotgun. And uh, let's get all the, the controls on screen. Where are the bloody. Alright, let's do this. Oh shit, get the controls on screen. Bitch. Reload, reload. So the auto aim is a little bit annoying. Stay back. Oh my god, I'm gonna get boxed in, aren't I? No, oh, you're not zombifying me. Oh, yeah, the zombie hide me. And you know, this is a cool thing about Android. This is what people just don't get. You could do cool shit like this. You could, it could be a PC in the palm of your hand. So, this is why I like Android. I had the choice. I had 300 bucks. PS Vita, 3DS, or an Android. And you know what? I think I made the right choice, really. Come on, why don't you die? Shut the fuck up and die. Ah, oh, god damn it. I'm on ammo. Yeah. Alright, so back off. Back the fuck off. Really? Ouch. What the hell was that? Oh, yeah, give me some backup, man. These things are just tanking bullets. I'm out of ammo already. Uh, cover me. Uh, weapon shop. Let's get a sniper. Come on. Did you die? I think you might have died. Ugh, shit, I miss. How am I missing? Must be lag. Whoa! It, uh, it's tanking snipe. 600. Oh, I'll rape you. Okay, my health's going up. And then it's going down. Oh, you wanna knife me, huh? 
<laughs> he's out of ammo. <laughs> oh, I'm not even get out of his way. I'll help you. I'll be on your side. Leave him alone. Leave Brittany alone. Get out of there. All right. Yeah, that's enough of this. Um, uh, what's next? So action. I got a bunch of games in action and racing. Race of Champions. That's the, you know, the best looking racing game I have. Um, it's pretty good. Um, no, um, no control support. I could do another mapping, but uh, eh, it's not worth it. All right, so let's do time challenge. Let's use a Scirocco. All right, next. And look at that specular highlighting, or whatever I think it is. It's shiny. Um, all right, so this should be left, right. It's not a rotate. change the settings um, I think I gotta get to the main menu back exit settings is the controls we do left right screen set up mm, yeah that will do If we have the same settings, we can go forward with it. But look at that! PS2 level graphics. In the All right, so um, that was a bit of a fail. Oh, I don't want you to see any of that. That's a bit of a fail on my end. Well, it seems that uh, it was a bit too much, so... I should probably clear the memory after I run the games. Skip, I don't want that game. Alright, this is a pretty fun game. Let's do a career, let's do an old one. Let's do monster truck stuff. Um, no. This has some good physics to it. I don't know what the physics uh, middleware that they're using. Although, why does it matter? Let's, let me get focus. Alright. Oh my god, it's not gonna make it. Shit. <laughs> oh my god, that was so bad. Alright, full speed ahead. Hit the ramp like a champ. Ooh, break hard. She works hard for the money. Ooh, yeah. So you probably noticed there's a damage meter on the the vehicle itself. Ooh, shit. That was reckless of me. All right. And uh, it's, no, it's not. Oh yeah, it's a bit fucked up. Bam. No! Why is this happening? Alright, so that's gone. Let me go kill some stuff. Ram managers. Okay. Um, racing. Death rally. It does take advantage of the controller, but it's not that like fun on screen. Uh, Kung Fu. This is a pretty fun one, and I think it runs on pretty much everything. Because uh, sprite, sprites. Let me go to the first one. It's easier to demonstrate. That's a counter. Very simple.
Bruce Lee esque character. <laughs> Lining up for an ass whooping. Um, so that's enough of that. That's um, what was that named? That was that was uh, Kung Fu. I don't have you anymore, do I? No. Why are you still doing here? Um, delete. I was trying it out. I downloaded a new version. It was wasn't that good. This is actually a pretty fun game. A bit wild, if you ask me. Uh, oh, no, 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 I don't want your price negotiation. Yeah, that's one of the downsides of, uh, of um, free games. They sometimes don't understand that people don't want ads. All up in the face. Right, right, right. But it's it's similar to Death Worm. That's I think that's what it's called. Uh, you hold it. It's like a, similar to Death Worm, but it plays similar to um, Raymond, um, the new Raymond game. Boom! 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 I get it, I get it. I'm a hungry, hungry, hungry hippo. No? I don't get it then. Yeah. You know, it's a fact that great white sharks can jump many feet in the air. <laughs> That's, that was horrible. That was, ooh! Oh, I thought it was gonna be a stumbling block. Mm. Someone's objectives complete. Success. All right. That's all well and good. Let's kill the ram and continue on with our adventure so those are a bit hard to show on camera um, this one's fun what the th that's a dooku oop shit no don't get me to the place sir let's do uh, arcade uh, let's, yeah, let's try something new or not. This gets hard real quick. So let me try to get focus for you guys. Uh, bam! Uh, whoosh! Whoosh! Swoosh! Oops! It's plenty of fun. Under the sun, under the sea, under the sea. Every time I go to the sea, I wanna pee. Don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to do. That said, don't tell me what to do. Owning! Owning some noobs, eh? Mm -hmm. This can be anything and everything. Ah, uh, you didn't miss much. The the limits imposed by the FAT32 file system on my camera is a bit annoying. Um, but, you know, for video production, you never really use, you know, 
an hour worth of footage in one take. Do really? Stratagem. I like that word. I don't know why, but I just do. It sounds intelligent, like intelligent design. I know. You don't gotta tell me. Bam. 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 Ah, that one I fucked up. No oh, shit. I feel the pinch. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh crap, I messed that one up. Um, get up there. Get there. Get there. Ah, shit. Oh shit, that was so bad. Um, yeah. That was so bad. Totally. Dude. Let's just clear around. Alright. Let's get into the heavy hitters. GTA 3. Bam, bam, bam. Control support. Oh, crap. I guess that's the downside of clearing RAM. You clear more than you want to kill the 6 axis app. Shake there. Um, multitask over to this bad boy, and it looks better than the PS2 version did. Was resume. What's up? What's up? What's happening? What's up? Better burp, I know. What's up? What's up? Alright. Mm hmm. Let's go drive around. I don't want to do a mission. Mm hmm. I don't want to hear this. Ah. Is it? Input method is six axis controller, so. I don't know why it's not skipping, really. Alright, so. Hmm. Some, for some strange reason, the joystick isn't working, but the D pad is. What's up, what's up? Options. I don't know what's happening, game controls. Analog steering on accelerometer. Uh -huh. I don't know what's happening. Oh, I must, I must have did something to uh, stop in the name of the law. Oh uh, yeah, I fucked something up. Whatever. Let me just kill it this way. Bam. All right. Um, what else is there? There's wild blood. I think I'm gonna save that for last. Let's do blood and glory legends. Awesome, 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 awesome game. This sauce is awesome. Is 
Let's go. Um, no control support on this bad boy. High quality textures and high poly models, so it might take a while to load. One gig of was it DDR2 RAM? Alright, daily rewards. Nonsense. Alright, so let's go. Let's do something easy. Uh, please don't be a huge ass dude. And these guys will kick, <laughs> even like low level guys will still kick your ass. It gets so un imbalanced. Look at that. Look at that. So hard to get in focus. That's how beautiful that game looks. And they've done anti-aliasing and all that. Well, there's only two models. Two, three models in the 3D world. Not a lot of stuff happening on screen. Dodge that like a pro. Ouch. Not so much like a pro. Counter-Strike. <laughs> Counter-Strike. Every blow I deal heals me. Ouch. Taking his shield. Finish him. Oh. Like a pro. Uh, that's enough. Uh, this thing is getting a. Camera's getting a bit hot. This actually got ported to the PS Vita. I, think, I believe the Vita has the better graphics between the two. Uh, uh, not now, I don't want you to notify me. Alright, so let's do so. Let's just do a quick solo run. It's actually somewhat fun I had it mapped to the controller but for now I'm just gonna use the touchscreen controls it's too bad not all game loft games come with control support because they're the games that need it most because they're sticking with the controller paradigm while all the games are moving to more uh, touch based uh, interfaces like sw swipes sliding pinching zoom in and the like. Oh, wow. You know what? <laughs> oh my god, this is so bad. It, it is somewhat controlled. It is like it's working, but this isn't mapped, by the way. This is like game off. So, look, if I pull it back, it still goes forward. Every direction, it just goes forward. Uh, I'm gonna have to whoop these guys' ass before they kill me. So I know a lot of game love games like they all they'll, they'll discover the controller, but they, I don't know they don't play with it really well. It's like partially supported. Alright, let's try something else. So one of those games these games aren't really fun to show on camera. Because there's a lot of concentration that's involved. The Dark Knight Rises. I bought this game when it was on when it was 25 cents. And it's actually quite good. quite good actually so let's see if we can jump 
Hospital mission. Let's do that one. This is the one where he rides his bike. That's an awesome scene. That's the the best looking scene I've ever seen on a mobile game. Like this game has good graphics, but it's you know not the overall best looking uh, game. But that one scene where he's on the bike and you see the motion blur and stuff like that. Oh, uh, this is ah, uh, this is in jail. Oh, this is horrible. Look at this crab walk. Okay. This game has some controller. I don't know, man. Game of is confusing me. I gotta go online and see about... Oh, yeah. Interesting. Not mapped. But it does have some control support. Okay, wow, actually plays pretty well. Um, this game is doing 60 FIPS. Um, buttons aren't mapped. Uh, but, uh, oops. Buttons aren't mapped, but uh, sticks are mapped. So I'll just tap you. Because, to be honest, playing with on screen controls are shite. Look at that 60 FIPS. More frames per second. More fraps. Oh. Maybe. Oh, okay. Now it's got some weird mapping stuff happening to it. You know what, let me see what happens if I change my input method. Um, let's change it to Samsung keyboard. Let's see how the game behaves. Continue. Alright, so it behaves the same. So, it's not six... Uh, ooh, what has happened? It's not six axis, misbehaving. What's happening? I know what's happening, but the game looks great. Let me see if I get to show you some stuff on it. Crap, I'm showing you my reflection. It's dark, so let me get some light up in here. Alright, continue. Yeah, this does drop a few frames when we're doing like uh, when we're on outside environments. You know what? Let's do that instead. Back to main menu. Let's do it to the outside environments. Yes, I'm bloody sure. So chapters. Let's do. Let's stop it. Let's do this one. Man, this thing is getting really hot. The screen is not too glossy. I like that. Yeah, let's wash that when we're outside, though, unfortunately. It's a big game, plenty of textures, high poly models, so uh, it should take a while to load. So there we go, a couple of frame drops. Okay, I get it. So there it is, a couple of frame drops on the outside. But look at his textures, they're all animated. Um, some of the texture quality isn't. But look how huge the environment is. Alright, I 
kill him. I snap his neck. Freaking Batman. All right, let's get to some combat, and then um, uh, we'll, we'll do the PS de Resistance. I don't know if uh, that made any sense. Come on, hit him! Hit me with your best shot. I just watched Rock of Ages like last week. Uh, I actually didn't want that to happen. So a bit, a couple of frame rate drops. A little bit of motion blur there, I really like that. Um, get over here! The Bat Scorpion. Take that gun away from him. Uppercut, bitch. Alright, so that's enough of that. I know moving around the console, the I was about to call it console. Moving around the device can um, be a little bit uh, motion sickness inducing, so I'll try not to. Uh, Death Dome, that's a new one. I did a review, so I'll just link that. Uh, bombshells, this is really fun. You know, let's see if we can get multiplayer up and running. Um, oh, this is a little bit weird. It's going to be really hard to show on camera. Uh, but it seems to be within the same universe as Gun Bros. From the opening cutscene. So, I guess if you follow the Gun Bros story. Which is a pretty other uh, blah is another nice game to, to, to mess around with. Um, because uh, it has some issues, it has some balance issues. Uh, because it's free to play, they want you to buy the credits. It's unbelievably difficult in some areas. So let's see if I get some game for uh, some people from here. I don't think I'm gonna get anybody right now. Um, whoop, okay. All right, let's do 30 seconds and we'll call it quits. Nothing happens. Yep, let's call it quits. Alright. Unfortunately, I don't have any friends to play with. No, let's do single player. The input is actually pretty fun. Just keep going, just keep going, just keep going. Continue, continue, continue. Oh, I think I'm about to fill 8 gigs of space with HD footage. Alright, so I gotta calibrate this one. So it's gonna be a bit. And the best looking Android game out there right now. Um, Wild Blood. And I gotta hurry because I'm about to run out of battery life. But, yeah. 
Kita fokus. Oh, it's a bit difficult. Oh my god. 